Over the past few years, we have created books about your community, your school, and your experience. But this year, we want to make the yearbook your book. We want to see you being you. Send us pictures and selfies of you and your friends being silly, having fun, and just being you. Submit pictures at RHS underscore YRBK hashtag yearbook15. Hey RHS, I'm Matt Vernier. And I'm Alexis Lumarp. <laughs> and this is your Daily Dose for Monday, September 22nd, 2014. In club news, WAC will have an informational meeting this Wednesday, September 24th, for any seniors who are interested in participating this year. It will be held in Mr. Wymore's room, A331, at 7.30 a.m. Applications can be picked up prior to the meeting in Mr. Wymore's room or Mrs. Frost's room, A234. The first key club meeting will be held tomorrow in Mrs. Kirkhoff's room, A233. All are welcome. Come fired up and ready to make a difference in your community. This past summer, Student Council hosted a new annual event called Lead Day. Tiffany Wen went on the scene to get more information. Our school's first Lead Day was hosted on August 21st in the school gymnasium. At this conference, we gathered several student leaders and helped develop their leadership skills by putting them in activities that can relate to real life situations and how to solve them. One of which includes stereotypes, which talks about the issue and how to solve them. Now we go over to Emily Fire, who talks more about it. Okay, what inspired me to host our school's first lead day was that I want people to be passionate about making a difference in our school. I know everybody, we have so many good clubs here, but I feel like a lot of them forget the point of all of those clubs. What message were you trying to convey? The message I was trying to convey by hosting Lead Day was that there are a lot of leaders in our school, but I feel like a lot of them don't get to experience what it's like to not be a leader. Sophomore Matt Harris comments on the message he received from Lead Day. The main message that I think I did, I got, and everyone else that went to Lead Day got, was about like stereotypes and how everyone can be involved in stereotypes and being against them. How do you think the students reacted in the activities? One activity that we did do at the very beginning was called Stereotype. So everybody had a sticky note on their head of some type of stereotype that we classified people in our school. And the most interesting part about it was that I didn't tell them how to react. I didn't tell them how to treat people. I just said, treat people like you see them treated. It was interesting because everybody knew how they were already treated, so they didn't have to really make up anything. Thank you. This has been Tiffany One with Lead Day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Tiff. In other news, The Post has its grand opening this Thursday, September 25th. They will have brand new coffee machines, snacks, diet pop, and bear gear. This year's homecoming da dance theme is Once Upon a Time. The dance is October 4th from 7 to 10 p.m. You can purchase a ticket for $25 in the counseling office. Students, please remember, headphones and earbuds can only be worn before and after school or in the cafeteria during lunch. Any students wearing them any other time will have them confiscated. Attention senior and junior girls, the Potter Puff game will be held on Wednesday, October 1st. Please pick, pick up an info packet from your class president or in the athletic office. The slips must be returned to the athletic office by September 26th. T-shirt forms must be in by today. You can purchase a mouth guard for $3 in the athletic office. Attention seniors, the following colleges are coming for a visit. Tomorrow, Wayne State during 6th hour in the LMC. On September 24th, Michigan Tech during 3rd hour in the CRC. On September 25th, Adrian College during 3rd hour in the CRC. Now to Sam Phillips with your sports news. Hey guys, I'm Sam with your sports report. JV Volleyball won all three games against Melvindale. Freshman Paige Adams carried the team through their last match, ending the game 24-26. Varsity Boys Tennis lost, lost to Trenton 5-3. Girls Cross Country won, their se won second place in their first jamboree. Robin Lozell took first place. Good job, Robin. JV Football lost to Allen Park 26-6. Stephen Green helped with the team with a touchdown. Good job, Stephen. Freshman football also lost 29-13 to Allen Park, suffering their second loss. They now stand 2-2. Girls, 
Girls swimming and diving broke Trenton's winning streak with a score of 186. There were three state cuts made. In the 200 relay, Rosalie Hackenberg, Kayla Salomon, Julie Lack, and Alexis Long. In the 400 relay, Marcy per Perovich, Alexis Long, Julie Lack, and Claire Sutka. Claire Sutka also made her 100 back relay. Good job, girls. That's all our sports news for today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Sam. Students, the painters will be in the building over the next month painting the stairwell doors. Please be very careful of wet paint in these areas. All doors will be marked. Happy birthday to Phoenix Wilbur, Samuel Henn, Thomas Benkarski, Zachary Benkarski, Paige Manthe, Christopher White, Robert, Robert White, and Michaela Cooper. I've been Alexis Lumarp. And I've been Matt Vernier. Stay, Stay classy, classy, RHS. RHS.